Okay, here's an example of using the Euclidean algorithm to determine the GCD of two given natural numbers. So let's look over the Euclidean algorithm carefully. So suppose we have two natural numbers. If we repeatedly perform the division algorithm, then the last non-zero remainder will be the GCD of the two numbers that we started with. So let's do this example with the numbers 2,802 and 369 and see what we get. So if we do our first round of the division algorithm, we get 2,802 is 7 times 369 plus 219. 219. Now we move everything down and left, so we'll move 369 down here, and we'll move 219 down here. So let's see, we get 369 equals something times 219 plus a remainder. So it's pretty obvious that we need 1 times 219, and then our remainder is 150. And now we continue. So 219 will move down here, and 150 will move down here. So we get 219 equals 1 times 150 plus 69. Okay, good. Now let's keep going. So 150 moves down here, and 69 moves down here. So we get 150 equals something times 69 plus a remainder. So in that case, we get this is 2 times 69 plus 12. And now let's keep going. So 69 equals 5 times 12 plus 9. Now things are shaping up. So we get 12 equals uh, 1 times 9 plus 3. And finally, 9 equals 3 times 3 plus 0. So we've got 0 as our remainder. So here we have 3 as our last non-zero remainder, which tells us that the GCD of these two numbers is 3.